Prince Andrew. The Duke of York has been accused of sexual abuse in a civil case in US that recently come to an end. His former friend Glenn Maxwell had been found guilty of recruiting and trafficking underage girls to be sexually abused by the late billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, who was an ex-associate of the Duke also, and this is the story behind it. In court documents, Virginia says that she was a victim of sex trafficking and abuse by Jeffrey Epstein from the age of 16. Part of her abuse involved being lent out to other powerful men, including Prince Andrew, she alleges. She says that the Duke sexually assaulted her on three occasions when she was under the age of 18. The first time was in London in 2001. In a 2019 interview with the BBC, she says that she was introduced to Prince Andrew by Epstein and then his girlfriend, Glenn Maxwell, who took them to a nightclub. She recalls being told by Mrs. Maxwell as a 17-year-old that she had to do for Andrew what she does for Jeffrey. Later that evening, she alleges that she had sex with the Duke upstairs in Mrs. Maxwell's house. On a second occasion, it's alleged that Prince Andrew abused her in Epstein's mansion in New York. And she says the Duke abused her a third time on Epstein's private island. In court documents, she says that she was forced to do sexual explicit things, but was worried and scared because of the powerful connections of the people that was forcing her to do it. The wealth and authority of Epstein and Mrs. Maxwell and Prince Andrew was a lot back then. She also says that she's sure that Prince Andrew knew her name and that she was a sex trafficking victim. Prince Andrew wholeheartedly denied these allegations against him. He said in an interview with BBC Newsnight in 2019, he had no recollection of meeting this girl whatsoever. The Duke had said on the date that she claims when they met, he was with his children and also took his partner to a pizza express in Woking and had been spending time with his family that evening. Not in Tramp nightclub with this girl that was accused against him. This poor restaurant got spanned with reviews after mocking Prince Andrew about his excuses of the situation. Someone saying, I remember coming here at 4pm on the 10th of March 2001, like it was yesterday. I meant to be going dancing at Tramp that day but I only had my travelling clothes to wear, which I didn't think would be honourable. The only improvement I would suggest is installing more CCTV, as having a photo of me there with my girls on a memorable afternoon could have saved my mum a £12 million bill recently. But Prince Andrew did admit he cannot explain the photo of him with his arm around the girl, and with Miss Maxwell in the background. Bizarrely enough, he said that is definitely him in the photo in the interview, but he's not sure if that is his hand which makes no sense. He is the most hideous dancer I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it was horrible. And this guy was sweating all over me. Like his sweat was like, it was raining basically everywhere. And I was just like, whoa, grossed out from it. Um, but I knew I had to keep him happy because that's what Jeffrey and Gillen would ex expect from me. Prince Andrew denies this allegation of him sweating all over her because he says that he cannot sweat. Yeah, you heard that right. He says that he cannot swear. Due to a condition that he picked up when he was in the war, it's impossible for him to have been sweating over this girl. Well, that's what he claims anyway. People on the inside are going to keep coming up with these ridiculous excuses, like his arm was elongated, or the photo was doctored, or uh, he came to New York to break up with Jeffrey Epstein. I mean, come on. I'm calling BS on this, because that's what it is. He knows what happened. I know what happened, and there's only one of us telling the truth, and I know that's me. I implore the people in the UK to stand up beside me, to help me fight this fight, to not accept this as being okay. This is not some sordid sex story. This is a story of being trafficked. Meanwhile, the prince's lawyers said that the alleged victim agreed in court in 2009 not to sue anyone else connected to Epstein when she settled her damages claim against the billionaire sex offender. The defendant who is suing Prince Andrew previously come to a settlement with Jeffrey Epstein for $500,000 or £360,000 in a claim that she made against him for sex trafficking her. His lawyers have urged that the victim had agreed not to bring any future cases against other potential defendants, which they said would not include Prince Andrew despite him not being named in the document. The alleged victim in this case filed a civil case in New York in August 2021 under the state's Child Victims Act, which allows survivors of childhood sexual abuse to pursue a case of which otherwise wouldn't have been brought up in court because too much time had passed. The case accused Prince Andrew of sexual assault and battery on the victim when she was 17. The Duke of York ended up reaching a financial settlement with the accuser Virginia forcing 
ending to civil matters brought against him in the US, according to the court documents that come out. A judge in New York signed the court papers, marking the final stage of settling the sexual assault case. The amount being paid by Prince Andrew in the deal agreed has not been revealed. There's been speculation around how Prince Andrew might be able to afford that settlement money, which would cost millions of dollars. There was rumors that he was selling stuff. There was also rumors that the queen could help pay it using her private funds, but Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the situation. Now, a lot of people just assume that someone is 100% guilty if they reach a settlement. In this case, it definitely does look fishy for Prince Andrew, and I see why he's got the reputation he has. Why was he with that young girl, and why was he with other people that were committing and living a lifestyle of crimes that related to sexually trafficking young girls? It is strange altogether that he was even around these people when he's meant to be part of the royal family.